Welcome to Tech Talk Friday and today there's no Karam but we have Gopi Singham from MDAC with us and Gopi, uh, lots of changes at MDAC, right? Uh, you know, every time I, 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 I talk to folks at MDAC, this has changed, this has changed. In fact, your title has changed now. You are now Vice President of Global Growth Acceleration. Talk us through what's happening in MDAC a little bit. You know, sure. what are some of the changes and how, what, what, why, why structuring I don't even know. Okay, what's global growth? And talk us through the through you know essentially what happened in MDEC. Sure. So thanks a lot for having me on the no show. Problem. So MDEC has been around for what twenty five years now. Correct. We've built the ecosystem. Changed name. We have I mean, changed, changed name your, twice, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's right. That's just because technology changes, industry changes, the demands are different, and it just shows that MDEC is ready for pivoting. And um, and and we've what grown ecosystems. We've built companies. We've done frameworks. We've done ecosystems. So this year, we're stepping the game up. So we've got a tagline called, we are, we are saying Malaysia, heart of digital ASEAN. And we have every right to say that, and we need to be very proud of that. Reason being, look at ASEAN, has a okay. single market. It's huge, 600 million people, right. 3, million, 3 trillion US dollars worth of uh, GDP. Um, and, and so much a green feel in there. There's opportunities for digital economy, because as you know, the digital economy um, democratizes the, the yep, uh, and, yep, and levels yep. the playing field so that everybody can participate. So having that in mind, so MDEX says, okay, this year, Malaysia is the heart of digital ASEAN. Okay. And this is a crying call to tell, to tell our Malaysians, look, let's, let's march forward. And uh, MDEX is, uh, and, and we have every right to say that because if you look at Malaysia, it's very strategically located. Actually, it is in the heart yep. of ASEAN. Yep. Uh, strategically located, we have got uh, what four or five uh, airline operators from Malaysia, um, and, and we are connected to every city few times a day. So when you say heart, is really like the heartbeat, the, the but, center, the most important vital function of absolutely, of okay. absolutely. Okay. And so we are the heart of digital Asia, and uh, so MDEX um, going on three three strategic uh, trusts or three strategic Trons. pillars. Yeah, okay. One is to develop, continue developing talent for the digital uh, economy. And uh, we want to ensure that we are, as Malaysians and as Malaysia, we are digitally skilled. And we cut across from primary school right up to the working life. So really going down to the grassroots. Uh, we are. This is a digital ninja and all those programs. Uh, Ex of, yeah. all those, uh, right? and, and since the program started, like school children, more than 1.2 million of them have been trained or have been exposed to computer science, uh, wow. c uh, creative okay. thinking, you know. So, so we are going deeper and deeper into it. Uh, there was a crying call from the, from the companies uh, looking for talent and yep. that's one of the things that we have done a little differently this year. So um, MDAC is introducing Superstar 2020. Now what this program is, we, we've, we have, over the years we have developed these companies to be regional global players. These companies are much bigger now, the gain companies particularly. Yep. Yep. And uh, these, uh, these companies have also uh, made a crying call, we need talent. So what we have done this year and what we are going to do this year is um, we are taking the top 100 uh, talent that's coming out of the universities, undergraduate, mm -hmm. and, and we're taking this 100 top talent that we think that, not yeah. just academically sm Di smart, but di also digitally smart. Digitally, okay, so and yeah. we are partnering with uh, maybe 20 of the gain companies, and we're going to say that this is a new program that, that these 100 would be trained by the CXOs of each of the companies. That means the training is just not academic. But it's like a mentoring. Mentoring, a mentoring strategy, cash flow, you name it. So they are going to be directly under CXO. So this is a program that we're rolling out in April and we've got our gain companies excited about it. So this is something special that we're trying to address a talent program. Okay, uh, so and, and, and also, okay, so you've got a primary, secondary, you've got the university level with that program. Yeah. But how about that next piece? The So we, we've the, also touched on the e-resic, you know e-resic, right? That's the, 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 the entrepreneurship. Then we've got GLOW that's addressing the uh, the gig economy, okay. right? The freelancers. So there is a full ecosystem when it comes to developing skilled yes, uh, digital yes. Malaysians. Uh. And that's one so of that's the one, trust, one, one, one of the trusts. Trust. Okay, one of the problems. Uh, okay, what, what's the, the second, second trust is where I am, but I'll come back to that one. The third trust is uh, to be digital. Uh, uh, we're going to drive digital investments into the country. And this one, um, we're going to have, uh, we, we hope to move the needle on this one this year. Uh, we hope to make some of the announcements of really um, thriving investments coming into So when you say digital investments, means investments in the Malaysian companies or really external companies bringing FDIs. digital technology? FDIs. FDIs. And then part of that investment also is about um, identifying Malaysia is sitting very well, very pretty to be the leader in uh, Islamic finance, uh, Islamic digital economy. And that is uh, one of the changes we made in MDAC 
is to have that as a, a separate division, which is Hidam, Hizam is heading it. Okay. So it, there's going to be a lot of focus into the Islamic finance, in, into the right. Islamic uh, um, uh, uh, digital economy. Okay. It's a big, big area. Something uh, Malaysia can take, uh, continue taking a leadership position. So the position. digital investments is one piece, talent is another piece, and, and then what's... That's so the middle one is growing the companies, and that's where gain oh, was all the while. So that's so what global growth... Uh, global growth, yes. So, so it was actually in two different divisions. One was uh, enterprise where I was running gain, and then the other one was the ecosystem, CD, they call it... Um, uh, startup. startup ecosystems. Uh, so, so, right. yeah. so what has happened is, in the last four or five years, we have grown these companies. We have helped grow these companies on okay. the gain, uh, gain platform. Just in the four years, we have got over 2,000 meetings, and we have generated with the 67 companies the last four years, generated one billion US dollars worth of uh, wow. exports. Wow. So, so quick question. Uh, we, we we might be out of time soon, but you know, for a non-gain company, right? What's some of the things they can look forward to for NDAC for 2020 with this new structure? So, so the structure is to bring the board, board of it together to so its under global growth acceleration. So we come into the digital hubs. That's where the talent is starting. We identify talent, and then we have got the MTEP Malaysian Tech Entrepreneur Pass, which is also about driving entrepreneurship talent. Then, uh, so the digital hubs are churning out all the startups. Then we're identifying which are these startups, working very closely with Magic, working very closely with Cradle. Mm. And, then, and then now we're going to take some promising startups and then we're going to partner them with the GAIN ecosystem. Okay. And what we have found is some of these GAIN companies have got, uh, in fact, most of them have got the pay forward attitude, pay it forward. So they have been mentoring our startups. And now we want to make it official. We want to put them all on the same platform. Oh, okay. So you have the startups coming through. You have the game companies mentoring them. And, 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 and some of them are beginning to invest in them. And what we are realizing is the startups are beginning to get their revenues faster now. Why? The game company entrepreneurs are opening doors for them. Ah, okay. They are so go to market. Really a, it's a beautiful ecosystem that's just starting to be developed, you know, essentially by, by, I mean, through the MDAC initiatives and so on and so forth. Yeah, so, and that was nice. the rationale of bringing the whole nice. thing together under global growth. Okay. So that is a focus as well. Okay. That means we need big companies. We need uh, global companies from Malaysia because, as you know, uh, global companies attract talent, global companies attract yep. investment, yep. global com uh, companies uh, create jobs, yep. high value yep. jobs. So and that's part of, the, absolutely. part of the engine that's going to drive the digital economy Fantastic. moving forward. Fantastic. We're out of time, but uh, it's been interesting. Maybe we can get you back to come back and dive deeper sure. into this whole global growth initiative and, and, and what, you know, some of the specific initiatives. We've been speaking to Gopi. I'm here on Tech Talk. We'll catch you next Friday on Tech Talk Friday. Thanks for watching.